South Dakota were set up at our little pond set up. We had a few deer come in right at first light. They filtered off. And looking out this back window over here, and there's definitely more deer way out on those fields. They're coming across. They're just kind of coming in little waves. But uh, we know that last night, at last light we were scouting, we know there's some good bucks that went into that big barley field. They've came across. So we're just going to wait for these waves to come through. It worked out perfect on the first ones. Came right to the water. I mean, this should be a good setup. That is a good deer. There's a really big buck out there heading this way probably 400 yards out. A couple does, looks like they're gonna come in. It's barely coming up. And this buck just comes skylining right on the top horizon. We had to switch around real quick because that buck, we were hoping he's coming to the water. Of course, big bucks don't do the plan. Veers wide. I have to range him, spin the, move the chair out of the way, pull the window up, pull the window down. Oh my gosh, dude. South Dakota. Velvet whitetail, just an unbelievable morning. Tell you what, I had two deer tags out here, out west. First deer tag out in Montana, just an unbelievable mule deer. Same thing, right at first light. And then here we go, we get to South Dakota, do some scouting, get in a transition area. This buck swings wide, testament. Went to a single pin site. Since I'm just sitting in a blind, I'm able to range, move my sight, get away with that movement. This worked out awesome. Man. 35 yards. Once again, I went with the single pin sight. And whew, this thing was unbelievable. But look at this. Here's exactly what you want. A Rage tripan for one, or no collar, I got both, but you want an arrow that starts out green, and when you're done with it, before and after. That's the before and after. I am super pumped about this deer, obviously. It's funny how sometimes you shoot something, you're pumped. And then you shoot something else and you're even more pumped. For whatever reason, when I saw this white tail here in South Dakota, this is, this is like me shooting, I don't know, this is like me shooting a 170 deer in, in Iowa for me, coming out here and being able to, we're on blood right now. We're on blood everywhere. 
but to come out here to South Dakota and get a buck like this is just a real treasure. Oh, he's in full velvet, bro. Yes. What a stud buck. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. He's in velvet. I love that. South Dakota sunrise on an unbelievable velvet whitetail right here. This is a uh, really open country and a lot of times these bucks just make their way to these river bottoms. You try to just get in these pinch points with these fingers. This is a little timber finger that comes up and it's one of the first ones they try to bail into. Once they're down in there, it's hard to, it's hard to hunt them. So you gotta be out here in the wide open with the blinds. We were on water, we had a ton of deer around, of it, around us the whole time. And this buck was swinging wide, not coming to water. So we had deer literally 300 degrees around us. And I just keep saying it over and over again, but I'm just a huge believer in hex, what it does. I get more animals guaranteed because of it. And I definitely have more close interactions and I get away with more just being there on the ground. And this is just such a rewarding hunt. Perfect shot. All my equipment worked perfectly. First velvet whitetail with my new PSE. I could not be happier. What an amazing day.